Hi everyone, welcome back to My Allotment Diaries. My name is Emma, these are My Allotment Diaries. You will notice I'm speaking a little bit softer today because behind me, one of the houses is getting their roof done, so there's a load of builders like literally overlooking my plot, so I can't get out there until they bugger off, basically. <laughs> oh, It's the middle of the week, I had to come here today because I just had to get away from home, to be honest. That sounds awful, and I hate saying that, and I feel like such a bad person, but the homeschooling, having Dave working from home, me being home, oh, it's just killing me right now. I just thought a couple of hours here by myself might just sort of help to reset me. The first job that I want to do in here is actually in my shed because it's with my sweet peas, which are all growing beautifully. Um, but they're ready to pinch out now. So I will show them to you. I will show you them to you. I'm knackered. I'm knackered. Give me a break. I'm knackered. So the reason why we pinch the tops of pit sweet peas out is because we don't want them to keep growing up and get leggy. Leggy is when a plant has a really long stem like that and then the leaves start at the top it's called a leggy plant we don't want that we want it to bush out and grow out and have lots of flowers poking off everywhere so excuse the door it's so rude these are the first leaves of my sweet pea i can't see what i'm doing because i'm filming at the same time all right i think that's now in focus these are the first leaves of my sweet pea and now you can see we're growing more leaves up here we're growing more and look here these are the first leaves Ignore those ones because they're little leaves coming after. These are the first leaves. These are more leaves coming up. This is the bit we now pinch off. So, there's my first leaves. Looking very happy. Now I've got the next bit here. Now this whole top bit, this pinches off. Like that. And this whole top bit here, where is it? There it is. Pinches off. Like that. So now hopefully, what that would encourage the plant to do, it goes, oh my god, something's killing us when we go up here. Ah, it's a monster. It's now going to start going out, going out. As it goes up, it'll go out, out. That's about as well as I can explain it. Um, but all my other ones are coming up as well. Now, I germinated my sweet peas in this little box here. So I just basically put some tissue in, put the seeds in, kept it moist, kept it wet, kept the lid on it for a little bit, and they germinated. Then I potted them up into pots. They need potting up urgently. Um, and now these ones are all coming up. So these are my new sweet peas. These are the ones that I did a little bit before. I'm trying to do them in batches now so that I continue to have sweet pea plants. I don't know if that makes any sense, but there we go. These will need turning around so that they don't grow wonky. So we'll turn them away from the light and now they're gonna have to go and find the light again and go that way. So. I don't know what you think, but I think that's a pretty good explanation on sweet peas, actually. I think that's a good tutorial, so you're welcome. I might call this a sweet pea tutorial because that is pretty self-explanatory. I've explained how I germinate them and get them going, because they can be a bit fussy, sweet peas, with getting going. Um, I've, I've said you've got to turn them away from the light, and I've shown you how to pinch them out. So the only thing to do now is to keep them wet, and when the ground warms up, probably in April, maybe end of April, I'll plant them outside, up something. That's it, it's that easy. Spin me right round, baby, right round, like a ruckle baby, round, 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 round. Spin around, spin around, spin around, spin around. It could probably do with the water too. Well, yeah, I get to use some of my new water. It's exciting. Who's not been pinched? You haven't. There you are, mate. You've not been pinched, all right. No need to cry about it. Yeah. Good sweet peas. Good sweet peas. Good job. Just going to fill up my water bottle with some of the water from the water duck. Water duck. If I just show you this water bottle, because when, oh God, when my sweet peas are in the shed, I don't want to use a whole watering can. So you know, if you get these bottles with those tops, they're really good for watering seeds without flooding them or anything. You can really control them and obviously it's smaller than a watering can. There's probably something professional that you can spend a lot of money on to water seeds, um, like a watering can. <laughs> but um, if you just have a plastic bottle with one of these on the end, does the job, does the job. There you are, have a drink, have a drink. Have a drink, have a drink. See what I mean? Now you can control it. Look at that. Easy. Just a little squeeze, squeeze. Everyone's had a drink. All right. You all right now, guys? Cool. Good. Excellent. 
I don't know if you can see there. It's so nice out today. It actually feels like spring today. I'm in a jumper and I don't feel at all cold. The sky is blue, sun's out, birds everywhere. It's just lovely. I'm going to fix my broccoli thing. I don't think the builders can see me from here, but they can probably hear me nattering away to myself like an absolute natter. But then what's new, eh? What's new on the plot? I'm going to try and fix that so the pigeons don't get any of my broccoli because it was so nice, by the way. It was so delicious. So I'm going to fix it. I'm going to try and fix it. I should have made that clear. I'm going to try and fix it. Yeah, I didn't think that was a good place for my camera. Shit. Oh, shit. Show you really quick you know when i hacked my chard to pieces with absolutely no idea what the bloody hell i was doing um it's all started to grow back in the middle don't know if you can see in here but i've got new growth in there so the whole thing is regrowing again so i think it was a really good idea to sort of hack at it i mean maybe i should have known what i was doing a bit more but look all new leaves in here so there's life in this chard yet we might as well make this a sheddy video. Um, a sheddy video. Uh, I'm writing a book. I've mentioned this before. I am writing a book about my allotment journal, like my allotment diaries. Um, this is my. Sometimes I come here and when I've finished on the plot, I, I write. And that this is like, this is what it looks like. It's just covered in mud. Um, but I've done a little bit. I'm such an old-fashioned human because I really like to write with a pen and type it up. Um, yeah, so some of the chapter ideas I've got, I've got the wasp nest, the bloody fox, the polytunnel, poly tunnel, the shed, the polytunnel part two, because if you are a long time viewer, you will know my polytunnel, my polytunnel flew away twice. <laughs> um, I've got the pond, the whack it in method, the people of the plot, that's going to be an interesting one, the pea plants, the scarecrow, um, don't grow pumpkins up. First flowers, caterpillar invasion, leaf spot mould. Do you remember the leaf spot mould drama? My God. The wonder of birds. Can't wait to write that one. Um, and then don't make a pond under a tree. And a bug for everything. So those are some of my chapter ideas for right now. And I think it's going to be quite an interesting read. So if you are still interested in my book and asking where it is, I'm still writing it, guys. It's my lockdown little challenge for lockdown so i'm still doing it all right not gonna get much done out there today <laughs> because the builders are just basically just watching so obviously i haven't got enough work to do have they um yeah but there wasn't much to do today i mean the main reason why i came down here was just like i said to get a little bit of space um and it's it's i already feel a bit better um and it's just nice to see everything growing it's so nice that it feels like spring today as well so once again, and I say this quite a lot on my vlogs, if you can get outside, get outside. If you have a garden, go and dig in it, do something. Ugh, door. Go and do something. If you've got an allotment plot, get down there. Even if it's flooded, just go for a paddle. Do you know what I mean? Get outside because it does you so much good. I can't tell you how amazing it feels just to get outside, just to get in the fresh air. It's just beautiful so if you can do it and i will see you in my next vlog i'm going to be building stuff in my next vlog so i'm coming down here on thursday which is in a couple of days time one day for you i want to make a cold frame that's what i've decided to do either out of the pallet or out of the fence panel that i found which is just here so i'm going to make some kind of cold frame with either that or the pallet there's a pallet down there somewhere somewhere hiding um but yeah so stay tuned for that that should be an interesting vlog see you next time guys thanks for watching bye